Hi everyone, so in this screencast we are going to take a look at um, how you can install R on Windows 7. So the basic idea is just to um, install, uh, download the installer from the R project website and install it and just try out a few simple commands just to see if everything is working. So I'm currently on the R project homepage which is rproject.org. Um, you probably know what R is. Uh, it's a like environment for statistical computing and it's um, available for Linux and Mac and Windows um, so on the home page you'll see a link to download R so I'm just going to click on that and here you can choose whichever geographical mirror is close to your location so right now uh, I'll just choose this which is close to my current location um, so here you can see download R for Windows, so I'll click on it and it takes me to this page where it tells me that there are three subdirectories which is the base, the contrib and the R tools. Um, as you can see against the base it is written, this is what you want to install R for the first time, so and, and hence we'll just um, download this installer from here. Um, so if you click here, you will get this option. Um, so if you click on this, which is the, uh, so as you can see, it's a 52 MB file. Um, so if you click on this, download should start. Um, I already have this um, exe downloaded, so I'm just going to click on it to start the installation. And uh, so the usual, oops, the usual um, security warning. So you can just click run and install it should start um, the standard installing instructions next next um, I'll just keep it as it is um, okay again we'll just choose the default um, the customize startup options no just since you really don't know about this, so I'll just keep it as it is. Um, I should set up as a program shortcuts. If you click, um, so yeah, that's fine. Create a desktop icon, yes. Quick launch, uh, for sure. I'll just get ahead with the default. So the install installation is in progress and shouldn't take too long. Um, While well, the installation takes place, let us just take a look around to see some of the documentation so that we can just get a um, so this is an introduction to R so let's just click on it and see if we can get some very basic instructions from here um, okay um, right so yeah anyway We'll get back to that later on. Yeah, the, as you can see, there's a lot of things that can be done, which of course we'll get to at some point of time. Um, let's see if it's in s yeah, almost done. Okay, so the setup is complete. So I'm just going to click finish. Okay, so as you can see, a menu item. Okay, so as you can see, a menu item has been created here. So I'm just going to click on it, and um, the R console should start. And uh, so, as you can see, this is the R console. So this is where you. Um, so this is the interactive mode where you type in your R commands, and you should be able to see the results. Um, so for example, we can just carry out some basic math operations like um, 1 plus 2 equal to 3 um, or something like uh, um, log of 2 um, 
you could um, create variables like this so x is 1 then you could do x plus 2 um, you could also create an array like 1 to 5 as you can see it's 1 to 3 4 5 so yeah um, so basically R is ready to be used um, and I think that's all I wanted to cover in the screencast um, and I so just have a look around and, and and see what you can do with it so for example I think um, this is where you can load external packages which is from the CRAN like as you can see it has all these options and it also um, so oh, okay so you can also look up manuals from here so introduction to R oh, okay that's good um, this is really good um, so you can take a look around and see what you can do so yeah um, hope you found this screencast useful till the next time bye bye